Hey beauties, it's Viviana and today I've got another hair tutorial for you guys. So after I finished washing my hair, I was there just playing around in my hair and trying to come up with a style to do for this week. And I then remembered I haven't done a half up, half down style in a while. And I'm not talking a top knot. I mean half up, half down. So that's initially what I wanted to do. Just part my hair halfway, catch up the top, and let down the back. However, your girl started to think and come up with some different ways to make this very simple style just a little bit extra. I was trying so hard not to get a top knot and look what I ended up with. So this is my hair freshly washed and detangled. The only product I have in it right now is my leave-in conditioner. So the first thing I'm going to do is to make my part to separate my half up from my half down. So my hair had dried out a lot and for my hair it's just a whole lot easier to handle when it's wet. Alright, so my hair still feels dry, as in not very moisturized, but yeah, I'll add some moisturizer to it a little later on. For right now, let's get this style on the road. Style on the road. Style on the road or style on the roll? Style on a roll. Let's get this style going. <laughs> So with this front section, I'm going to do two chunky cornrows going back. And now I'm going to use one of my favorite little tricks when cornrowing my hair and that is to add some edge gel to the sides of my section just to tame any flyaways and yeah, have the cornrow looking nice and neat and sleek. So my two center cornrows are finished, but I feel like I want to add two more cornrows on either side. Smaller little braids though. when I have a vision of my hairstyle in mind and then when I actually try doing it it's not working out as planned see I wanted to catch this up do you see that like there's no way I can catch the hair up without having the hair block my little corner all and if my parting is blocked then it kind of take away the cuteness of the hairstyle for me so I decided to take a break cool off a little bit and I think I've come up with an idea on how to fix this situation yeah I really hope it works out but uh, in the meantime I'm just going to put this section up and now I'm going to work on defining my curls on the back section and I'm going to be adding a well-balanced mixture of my eco style sport and my wetline extreme gel it gives me a well-balanced combination of long-lasting hold, definition, and not too much dryness. Alright, so I've finished applying my gel, but 
If you're new to my channel, hi, welcome. So here's a rundown. I like adding mousse on top of my gel whenever I'm doing a wash and go. So on top of my gel today, I'm going to be using the Cream of Nature Mousse. Because I found that using a mousse gives me the most frizz-free, defined curls possible. But the gel is what really gives me the hold I need for a long-lasting wash and go. So yeah, I like to use them both. And now with the front of my hair, I'm gonna smooth it down with my rat tail comb, gel it down with some Gorilla Snap Gel, and then pin it down with some Jumbo Bobby Pins. I guess I have to switch to the smaller Bobby Pins cause yeah, clearly the Jumbo ones can't work. I'm starting to see the style come together now, but let's wait until in the morning when everything is dried and uh, yeah, we can add some accessories and really finish off this style. So this is my hair completely dried and I am loving how it's looking. However, I'm gonna take this style up a notch by adding some better length to this hair with some better length clippings. Was that smooth? Was that smooth enough? I was contacted by Better Length to feature their clippings in my hair tutorial. And if you think a company can pay me to add clippings to my already voluminous hair, thank you Better Length for sponsoring this video. So Better Length specializes in textured clippings and I received the Afro Kinky curly clippings in the length of 18 inches. And it came simply packaged in this clear plastic bag. And also in the package I got this black bag that I can store the hair in when not in use. The hair straight out of the bag had a really unpleasant scent, so I had to go wash it right away. And to prepare the hair for use, I had to just use a small amount of my co-wash, rake it through the hair, and then I used my Denman brush to thoroughly detangle the hair. And after that thorough detangling, this is all the shed hair I received. Oh yeah, and I do have color in my hair, so I decided to lift the color of the clippings with some Volume 40 developer and dye the clippings so that they had a better chance of blending in with my own natural hair. I rinsed out the hair, allowed it to air dry, and I placed it back in this little baggie. So I have 10 pieces of clippings and this is one bundle. And one of their claims is that one bundle of clippings can actually do your entire head of hair. So this is my first time adding clippings, so I really don't have much instructions to give you, all right? I'm just going through and trying to find which length of clipping works on which section of hair. And it's very easy to open, like that, you saw it. Okay, so this is my hair, and these are the clippings. And oh, look at it! You can see that, at least for this strand of hair, it matches. So, this is the length difference. So let me just continue parting small sections throughout my hair and adding the clippings. And let's see how it looks at the end. <laughs> I'm just excited that it looks like it's kind of blending in. Hey, he's body, baby, oh. oh Lord, have his mercy. Hey, I say, I'm feeling all this, she already know this. She want a bad man to come and be the oldest. I'm feeling all this, she already know this. She want a bad man to come and be the oldest. You want murder me, eh, 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 eh. You want murder me, eh, 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 eh. You want murder, 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 murder me. You want murder, 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 murder me. Okay. Oh, man. So the 
back was blending in, you know, my more curly part of my hair. But when it comes to this very odd texture of hair that I have going on towards the front, we're gonna work on that. We're gonna work on blending that in. Give me a second. But it's really gonna be hard for me to blend the hair with such a thick top section um, of my own hair. So let's make it a lot thinner. See, nice and thin. So this is gonna be the only hair at the top from here. All right. Then we're gonna add one more row of clipping. One more row. That looks a little better. All right. Let me just try and define the curls a little more and get everything nice and blended. I will just like to take this moment to remind you that if you have a more conventional curl pattern, blending in your own natural curls with these clippings will not take this much effort. Y'all know my hair is difficult to define. <laughs> oh dear, this is, this is my hair. <sighs> So I had to go for my really old overheating blow dryer because the only other blow dryer I have right now is the blow drying brush, which I already did a review for and I'll leave it up in the iCards. But a blow drying brush won't really do me good right now. So I'm right, just gonna cut a little at the top just to help the transition. So this is as blended as I will get it. So let's finish off this hairstyle by doing the bun at the top. Never forget your baby hairs. Yay! I am happy, okay? And these clippings are really comfortable. As in, I, I, I thought I would feel some kind of tension on my scalp or something, but it's really lightweight and the clips I can't feel a thing. Really can't feel a thing. Thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and don't forget to check out the description box where I'll have all the links to these beautiful clippings. If you're new to my channel, I'll have some more videos up in the iCards so you can watch more of my videos and get familiar with my channel and what we do around here. And if you like what you see, you can subscribe. Or if this is the first video of mine you've ever watched and you're already in love, you can subscribe. <laughs> okay, beauties, later! Mwah. So basically, this is like the Anthony Dickey method without the salon chair and salon basin. <laughs> this is genius. This is basically going to prevent me from having my paddle brush and my blow dryer with little nozzle attachment and using two hands. That's why I guess it's called the